What's up, everybody? Welcome to Williston, Florida, in Levy County, where they're having a gun show Saturday and Sunday at the Williston Flea Market. This morning. Welcome to Williston, Florida. This town is very country. Yes, yes, indeed. We are between Gainesville and Ocala on the west side, way out here by US 41. Just a small little country town in the middle of nowhere in Florida. We did a video in Williston. Do you remember how many views it got? Uh, I think about 12. Don't think about, look about. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not thinking about what you think. What you thought it got doesn't matter. It's, we're talking facts here. How many views we get? If you're from Williston, uh, I guess, what's up, Williston? Um, I was on a Facebook group a while back, and uh, there was this... The people in Williston love Williston a lot, and uh, mostly don't ever say anything bad about Williston because these people are very passionate about their town. We had three videos. One had 2011 views. Uh -huh. uh, the Highlands had 49, and the Abandoned Mall had 1200 49 what 49 what 49 views it only got 49 views 489 okay please proper english 489 we've done three videos here one had 2000 views another one had 500 views and another one had 1200 what is 49 where's there 49 in there katie you said 49 where's there 49 in there 489. 489. Open your mouth, women. Talk loud and clear, boy. I want to hear you. Open your ears to hear my words. It's on video. You can listen to it later. You said 49. Please. Look, give me some statistics. Okay. Oh, look. They're getting a bunch of new stuff put in. <gasps> yeah, they, they got a Popeye's coming in. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Great things coming to Wilson. This town's about to pop off, man. Williston has a lot of abandoned stuff and we've done videos here showing some of the abandoned buildings There's an abandoned mall There's a lot of abandoned stuff. Look, it looks a lot better than last time yeah. we were here There's three and a half. It's three and a half percent Latino Okay Antiques. I went to an antique store here Last time I was here and they wanted twenty dollars a piece for license plates wow. I'm like, are you kidding me dude? Like right here one of these antique stores mm -hmm. The guy wanted twenty dollars a piece for license plates Today's Saturday. There's like nobody there. There it is. Yeah. An antique store. Neat little antique store. But he, there's, yeah. they're definitely going them on. Okay. Interesting. Barbecue. Whoa. What's a barbecue place rated, babe? Uh, find out. Yeah. I got our incomes. What's the income out here? The median income for the city, household income for the city, is twenty five thousand, and for a family, twenty six. Okay. And per capita. Per capita is fifteen thousand six hundred and twenty-eight. That's pretty low. So Williston, um, I mean, you'll, you'll see like log trucks and stuff going through here, and like you know, horses being, like, you know, like you're on downtown, you'll see like you, you see like trucks carrying horses and stuff through here. It's a country for sure. Um, on the east side of Williston. There's a Mexican restaurant, Las Avinas, Avinas, Mexican restaurant. I want to go to the east side of Wilson. They have a thing called the, the Crab Festival here. Yeah. It's basically like a hood festival. Mostly uh, the attendants are African-American and it's wild. Uh, I've never been to the Crab Festival, but if you go on YouTube, other YouTubers have uploaded videos of the Crab Festival. Quite, it looks like a fun little event. Um, I've never been to it, but it's the city's famous for the crab festival. It's, it happens in East Williston. So, uh, oh, they have a skate park. That's mm -hmm. pretty fun for a small town. Yeah. It's not much of a skate park, but it's it's a little something for the kids mm -hmm. to do when they're not doing things that are illegal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a very country town. Really nice country people. Four point two. Four point two what? The barbecue. Oh, that's pretty bad. Four point two is bad. A barbecue place to be good has to be a four point seven or higher. Yeah. 
the, there's a place. Dude, they got a bad cut furniture. Yeah. Yeah. We're on southeast and it's northeast where they do the most stuff. So basically, like, the, 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 the residential neighborhood turns into, like, a party scene. It's really cool. It's kind of like something you expect in Miami or something. But, uh, yeah, they do it here. And, and, and I'm not into, you know, like, big events like that, especially now with the whole world of... Here's, here's what you see out here a lot of. Uh, this is an abandoned gas station or corner store. Food for less. And basically, it's vacant. You know? So there's a lot of vacant stuff like that. In fact, one of the places we ate at was a gas station that was kind of like vacant like that. Mm -hmm. And they turned it into a breakfast place. It was really good. You remember? Yeah. That's where they had the, the hood brand. Uh, remember the cream? The yeah. creamer was hood brand. Well, and that was our intro for a while. That was our intro for a while. Remember we used to let's put a little hood on that. Remember we used to do that? Yeah. Let's put a little hood on that. That's where we got that from. If you've been watching our channel for a really long time, you remember I have to edit the Wilson video. Okay. There's a cop right there. Wilson police. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Is this another barbecue place? Yeah, they're not open. A little barbecue food truck. Let's go this way. Fat G's. Fat G's, yeah, buddy. I got, I got our place up. Look at those factory tires over there. Hmm? Look at all tractor tires. Church of Christ. So, yeah. Um, I, it's kind of like the foot wash in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the, the crab festival. Happens here in the east side somewhere. Mm -hmm. No commercial trucks. I love this rural area of the floor. It's so peaceful. It's a Saturday morning. It feels like a Sunday. It is just that quiet out here. It really is quiet. Lots of abandoned stuff out here. There's a house here that was, what, 100000 Remember the three bedroom, three bath? That was a big house, and it was going for like a hundred thousand. It was in the market for a long time. It didn't seem like that was gonna sell at all. It seemed like it was just gonna sit on the market for a while. Let's go out of this street real quick. Let's see what's going on here. We're listening. We're listening. He said hi to us reluctantly. Yeah. It's not like he wanted to say hi to us. So I said hi. I waved at him. He was like, "Yeah, do I have to?" Yeah. You're going to have to edit this video. Because I accidentally clicked the stop record button. That's fine. You're, it'll be quick, right? Yeah. Not a big deal. Yeah. You're already going to edit, so I can do some extra little things. It wouldn't be bad to do a nice little editor video. What's going on here? Is this another food truck? Another barbecue food truck? I hope I make it. Over here. Another food truck? Um. Is it a barbecue food truck? Cuban food. No way. You kill you kill with mine. Oh my god, they got steak sandwich. I'm yeah. asking if he's ready. Yeah, I could okay. definitely do some Cuban yeah. food. Although I am asking. I don't. Awesome. Either way, it's okay. Okay, I'm just driving through, Bobby. If I get a chance, I'll come back. Dolly, Dolly. He said about 20 minutes. I don't know if we can afford 20 minutes right now. He's Cuban. He says he makes the best effing Cuban sandwich. Emilio's. See what he's rated. If he's rated blue, we'll go with it. He said he makes the best effing Cuban sandwich. He should go to Alabama, bro. He's got a food truck. He can go up there. Ask him to. Dude, he, we'll talk to him. Let's see if we can stick around for 20 minutes. I don't know. Can we afford 20 minutes, though? That's the thing, bro. Uh, I don't know if we can afford 20 minutes. Yeah. I don't know if we can afford 20 minutes. That's the thing. I don't think it's on maps, but See if he's on maps. I think this is where they do the... This is northeast, so yeah, I think it's around here. I don't know if I can afford it. That's the thing. With as much things as we got to do... I mean, we're flying to get back to Alabama today. Yeah. We got to fly through these towns. But do you want a Cuban sandwich? 
how bad he should go to we should talk to him just to convince him to go to alabama so i'm to come up to prattville for the weekend or something he might do good up there he's got a food truck he's already ooh, look at this house that's interesting he's not on he's not on there let me see if he's on he might be on facebook emilio's cuban food truck the mobile home kind of like burnt. I think there's a half of it left. Lots of semi trucks. Seems like truck semi trucks are the thing out here for them. Like one person started driving a semi and everybody else started doing it. And they say, you know, you got like, oh, that's because they do the log trucks out here like they do in Prado. That's why there's so many semi trucks. So there's probably like a lot of independent contractors out here. Maybe we can get his food, his, uh, go back, at least get his business card, he said. He tried to give it to me. I was like, I don't know. That scrap metal right there. Dude, they got a Cuban food truck up in here now. And they got, think about that. They got a Cuban food truck. They got a Cuban food truck. And they got like two barbecue trucks. I'm seeing them on. Uh... As far as culture, that's all. If a town's got that going on, I'm good. And then they got this big festival. I don't know what the what the crab festival is about. It's just a big get together for the town. But that would be cool for us. I gotta show this. Oh, I gotta go this way. Ah. You got. There's like a squatted truck over there. I have the to. The sandwiches show are ten dollars. Hmm. The sandwiches ten dollars. I don't care what they cost. Yeah. He's got Cuban sandwiches. That's all I care about. I don't care what they cost. We're having a Cuban sandwich on where Alabama. Yo, check it out. This guy's got a squatted truck. That's Silverado right there. That's what they do here in the in um let me turn you turn here. See the wide tires? Wide tires and then they drop the back on the Silverado. That's like the thing to have in North Rural Florida. Um it's called the Carolina squat and they mostly do it to Silverado trucks, which are kinda like work trucks, but at the end of the day that's local culture here. And uh, there it is. You got wide, really wide tires. You drop the back on a Silverado. So if you live in another part of the country, or if you live in another country, and you're not familiar with American culture, they do that in the southern region of the United States, uh, southeast of the United States. Um, seems like everybody's cool, though. Like it's hood, but everybody's friendly and yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> I love these little hoods, man. I love it. Look at these little shotgun houses. That's got to be, like, from, like, that's gotta be from like the 1800s or something. I love it. I want that for the cover photo. Give me this one. See that little cabin right there? Mm -hmm. That's a great cover photo for the city. That right there would be a great cover photo for Weston. I love it. It is so neat out here. They got a Cuban food truck. All right. Then they got barbecue places. Then they got the little diner we went to. That's all you need. As far as like culture immediately like because that's the thing like immediately where you live you're gonna want all that you know what i mean when do you agree yeah like if if if, if we we'll talk to him let's let's stick around we're already seven minutes he said 20 now they say 20 cuban minutes oh okay your phone just went underneath my seat your phone <laughs> oh my phone it doesn't matter how do i get it out there's no getting it out there. Once a phone falls underneath a seat, that's pretty much... You gotta get out of the truck to find that thing. Hmm. I can't reach it. Ah, my hand got stuck. We'll have to get it later. What do you think about it? You got a Cuban food truck. You got... Barbecue trucks, Cuban food trucks. No, that's not underneath my butt. Get your hand out of there. It didn't fall into my butt. It fell into underneath the seat. It, 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 there's no way you're getting it out without getting out. Here, here's pretty. I think it's pretty quiet. Let me see if I can do it here. By the way, abandoned house right there. Of I, I, I pretty much had to get out. There's like an abandoned house like right there. Try to get it. I'll get it. No, there's only there's no way you're gonna get it without going to. And actually, you gotta be really careful. I got it. I think I got I'm touching it. Ah. I got it. 
if it wasn't in the case, somebody texted me. Here's some pictures of the mattress. Oh, that's the job we're doing tomorrow. Yeah. Great, thank you. Am I driver ready? Yeah, just say great. Yeah. This is the same lady we hauled the mattress away for. Mm -hmm. She's from Michigan. Mm -hmm. Really good really from Michigan? Yeah. You need to? Mm. All right, let me look at the map real quick and see where we're at. I don't know if we could, just could we spare 20 minutes? How far are we from Fanning Springs? Because we don't want to eat now. We're and like half an hour from Fanning Springs. Are we? Let's see. Fanning. We want to eat early too because it's. Yeah. Fanning. Why does I've, it think we're in I've been Denver? thinking about Fanning Springs the whole time we've been here. You're in Florida. It's Fanning Springs, Florida. How far are we? Last it's like few times. Directions. We're not that far. You found the, the guy on Facebook though? Why don't, we why don't we have signal? One person posted their menu. So but he is on Facebook, right? Or something? One po person posted a photo of it. Okay. Does Not even the food. Does they have a photo of, of, of his address right now? Because I want to talk to him. I want to convince him to go up to Alabama. Okay, we're only 33 miles from Finding Springs. Yeah. So there's no way we could eat here and then 33 miles down the road eat again. So do we really do we want really good barbecue or, or do we want really good barbecue? I've been Why isn't there any single? Months months. Why is this like not going anywhere? It's probably turned it somewhere. It's on, it's on. Are they open? You gotta call them. It's a small town, they may not be open. But they may not have barbecue until noon or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we might have to end up eating here no matter what. Well it's almost noon anyways, but I'm gonna call them, make sure you're So Wilson, it looks like it's made a lot of progress since the last time we were here. What do you think? Here's a little, is this a little diner? They got rid of the gas station thing. Yeah. Melanie's restaurant, that's where we at. Remember that they got rid of the gas station thing. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? Good, how you doing? Good, all right. What, y'all open already? Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna see y'all soon. All right, dear. All right, bye. It's her accent. I, I I thought it was like a machine. It's the same. I was wondering why you were like. I was waiting. Yeah. We're thirty-seven minutes away from there, which means we're not gonna be able to do the scoom place. I feel bad for the guy because I really wanted to try his scoom sandwich, but um, we're not gonna be able to because we're already like. Why is my phone so slow? Isn't that odd? They got rid of. Remember that little diner place? They got rid of... I'm going to drive north and not want to leave. Well, they needed more parking, is the thing. Yeah, they got rid of that stupid roofing they had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, look at all the pickup trucks. Yeah. That's how you know you're in North Florida. So country, I love yeah. it. I want to show these beautiful houses on this side of town before we leave. This is not fair. We just show, like, the city and neighborhoods. We got to show the nice stuff, too. So what do you think about Williston? It looks a lot better than the last time we were here. Yeah. It's moving in the right direction. See how nicely they did this park here? Yeah. Isn't there like a railroad thing up ahead? Like a railroad? I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, Wasn't there another barbecue place on the north end? Yeah, it was lower right. It wasn't. Yeah. Remember I interviewed a homeless guy right at the, uh, right here that was playing the guitar? That was all on that memory card that got, went to crap. Oh, there's a gun show. That's why there's so many people lined up here. There's a gun show. I've never been to one of those things. I hear they're really... I can't spend money right now. I can't go. They got ammo. No wonder they're packed. <laughs> Dude, I would just love to drive through the parking lot there and see what's in that parking lot. As far as, like, cars. <laughs> Alright, let's drive back over in town. Alright. That's Wilson for you guys. It's, it's, it's a neat little town. And now, hi, look. <laughs> They're boat bullies, boat builders. I'm sorry, the sign's crooked. Boat builders uh, apply at the airport road location. So, yeah, there's definitely there's companies hiring boat builders. You have to know how to build boats, I guess. If you don't know how to build a boat, I guess you can't get a job there. Training provided. Training provided. Immediate yeah. openings. Immediate opening. I need people to work. Yeah. So, I, 
got to pull into it. I'm not going to go into there because I'm not. But I would love to just see what, what it's about. You know what I mean? Yeah, from the outside. Somebody's having a yard sale conveniently next to the punch, huh? Yeah. Interesting. We're driving on a lawn. Somebody's having a yard sale there. I'll, I'll look through the yard sale. So I, do they really have ammo? Or is that just like a gimmick? Might be a gimmick. It might be a gimmick. I don't know if I'm supposed to be driving through here. Probably not. I don't know if there's a... Oh, this is like a... This is parking. This is parking for this thing. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> I guess I gotta drive on the grass over there. There's plenty of 4x4 trucks we get stuck out here, right? Well, that guy's doing it in a Honda. Look at him, he's just like flying through the lawn in a Honda. Yeah. This is a heavy SUV. I feel like it would bog down easily. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, and then there's like culverts and stuff, too. It's, it's not all... It's not all. Yeah. How do I get out of here? Just I guess you can just drive and park wherever you want. There's, there's no like specific order. <laughs> it's just like a random, a random yeah, thing, wherever yeah. you can fit. I guess. Where do you fit? Hmm. I want to drive back out there, but there's already cars blocking the entrance. Like I guess somebody was supposed to have the courtesy. I'm not gonna go to a gun show. No. Not interested in it right now. I don't have enough money to spend. <laughs> it's just, it's all guys, by the way. Yeah. It's all, can I just say all old white guys? <laughs> all of it. There's no other way of putting it. Yeah. There's no women here. The nope. women are over here shopping at this yard sale stuff. So. Me, <laughs> as a man, I should be looking at the guns, but I'm more likely to look at these yard sale stuff. He's got a. He's walking around with a gun. Yeah. He's <laughs> with a gun. You can't open carry in Florida. He, he, you can't open carry in Florida. He probably just bought it. Yeah, but he's walking around with it. I know. <laughs> I want a gun. <laughs> so we go in Florida. <laughs> you really can't. This is all junk furniture. There's nothing yeah. in there we would want. Okay. I'm driving the wrong way, ain't I? There's got to be. A, yeah. I've got to be driving the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You can't just walk around with a gun in Florida. It's illegal. Unless you're fishing. If you're fishing, you can do it. The, the Florida issues a concealed carry. But they don't... They don't issue a... They just went to the gun show and bought a gun. No one's going to enforce that. No, of course not. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Obviously, that's not an enforceable thing. But, but and, you know, you're not. it may not be the actual gun. It may just be part of the gun. Yeah. It may just be like an extension of some sort of... Or a silencer to buy tools. I'm tempted by the fact that they still have ammo. I haven't ran out of ammo though. So I'm not going to waste money on ammo unless I absolutely need to. I hate how like every time I, if I even try to move the camera around, you can accidentally click the turn off button. I can do that like that. But then again, we're using the iPhone in a way it's not intended to be used. So. I just want to show them this side of town too so I don't get mad at me and say you only show the worst parts of town there's always somebody complain about whatever you do people complain about your YouTube videos like they're paying you to do them you know like like we have that one subscriber lady I don't know how I haven't fired her as a subscriber <laughs> probably because I know she watches all my videos but she watches just to complain what's the point of watching all my videos just yeah. to hate I could never see that I mean like I don't know. Like yeah. Following somebody just to be a hater. Yeah. One person. Yeah. It used to be nice stuff. Then she saw one video and then she started getting. Yeah. By the way, guys, we're going yeah. to Fanning Springs, Florida to have barbecue. That's where we're going to eat today. Probably the best barbecue I've had in the South. Uh, it's in Fanning Springs. It's in a really, really good barbecue. So if you like barbecue, consider. Fanning Springs the barbecue, the barbecue shack. shack. The barbecue shack is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Fanning Springs. So if you uh if you like barbecue, check that out. Mm -hmm. It's really, really worth it. I haven't gotten any good for for oh, there is that one little shack looking thing, but 
It's just off the bat, that's gonna make people angry. Like, why would you? Why is that the cover photo with all the nice stuff we got? You picked the nicest. You picked the ugliest, oldest building for the cover photo. I can already see that coming. I like Wilson. It looks a lot better than the last time we're here. Can you GPS uh, the barbecue shack? Uh, yeah, baby. I'm pretty sure it's this way. But dude, they're getting a Popeyes. Mm. You know, they got a Hardee's. I love Popeyes. Popeyes. And they have burritos. Hardy sucks. Let's just be honest. Hardy sucks. That Melanie's diner was awesome. They're getting a Popeyes and they're getting a bunch of other stuff. So it's probably a place to watch. Yeah, this is definitely moving in the right direction. You know, and, so, and they're tearing down a lot of the abandoned buildings too. So this may this town may be about to like pop off. Yeah, this town may be moving, about to go in the right direction. It had a lot of potential. I said that last time I was here. Like, this town's got a lot more potential than it needs a little bit of investment, you know? <laughs> town's got a lot of potential. I think it's got a lot of potential. There it is right there. Yeah, buddy. He's got the Yukon with the wide tires. And Carolina. Are we on the right road? Yep. All right. All right, guys. So that's Williston, Florida for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another really nice country town here in North Florida, Levy County. Hope you guys liked it. Check it out.